Hey, hope you're having a wonderful uh, Tuesday. It's your boy E White. So we're looking at the dollar index. Um, if you were on one of our Zoom calls uh, yesterday, you know we talked about the dollar being strong. We're on a daily chart. See, we got a nice little uh, bullish momentum. Uh, we got an elimination um, of this particular uh, candle. This to your left, to the green. So we got an engulfing candle, which means we got strong momentum going up. Uh, we also identified that this was a cup and handle formation. So we got the cup and this is the handle. So uh, let me go ahead and move it out a little bit for you guys so you can see. Uh, cup and handle is a bullish uh, pattern. All right. So, so. I don't know if my internet is choppy right now, so we'll see. All right, so that's the cup, and you know this is the handle part. So we're looking for some bullish uh, momentum going up. All right, so this is July. So what does that mean for Bitcoin? Mm, it means Bitcoin probably could see some downside pressure, uh, to be honest. Normally when the dollar is strong, uh, you're going to see some weakness um, in Bitcoin. So... Let's take, take a look at the Bitcoin chart. Um, I believe I did see a head and shoulders. Oh, head and shoulders. <laughs> head and shoulders pattern on the one hour earlier. So let's see what we can identify. All right, here we go. My internet's not strong today for some reason. All right, here we go. Okay, so, you know, we got the left shoulder right here. We got the head and we got the right shoulders. All right, so what we can expect here is some downside pressure. Also, you can go ahead and you can look at this as potentially being a, um, a bear flag pattern. Okay, so there's two things that's lining up. All right, so um, like I said, we got the flat pole, uh, flat pattern forming. Um, I don't think we're going to come up to the upper band area up here. I believe we will see some form of a drop uh, based off of this pattern that we have currently. Um, So we want to see how price reacts in this area. Um, I don't think that we're going to come back up to these uh, regions up here. But if we do, um, we still could have a valid uh, head and shoulders pattern. All right. So, of course, we have our downside targets. Um, and then if you look, if you really zoom out, see the bigger, like we have a huge head and shoulders um, pattern. Like I said, I'm going to see how this plays back, but uh, my internet is very shaky, guys. Okay, so this one has already played out. Seems like this one is forming. So we can go to a higher time frame. Let's see what's going on up there. Let's go to, let's do the daily. Let's see what the daily, what's happening on the daily. All right, so on the daily, we just got all just a huge head and shoulders pattern, which this is a bearish. You know, so overall, we still have a bearish sentiment, and I want it to be bearish. Um, Bitcoin being bearish is actually a, a great thing, especially for a lot of you guys who are new coming into investing. 
this would be the perfect time for you to start loading up on your altcoins. And you need to go ahead and uh, make a list of altcoins that you want to build a beautiful position in. So this would be a great, a great time to actually start doing that. Now, some people will be like, well, why, why should I start buying some now if you think it's going to drop? Well, we respect the markets. So even though this is a head and shoulders pattern and we believe it's going to go down, it doesn't have to go down. So like all last week, all this week, I've been buying. So I got reoccurring buys on uh, certain altcoins. It just automatically drafts out my account. Now, yes, I can probably stop that and just be like, you know what, let me let me see if price to drop a little lower and then I can put a little bit more in. But, but that develops bad habits. It's because what's going to happen is it's going to come a time where you believe that something should drop all the technicals is pointing that it should drop and it doesn't. And sometimes it doesn't even come back and revisit those price levels. So you always want to be in a habit of treating the markets with respect and uh, buying at various price points. Now I do have a strategy where if it do breaks down to these levels, I do have a certain amount of money that's sitting on the sideline to where I can deploy that capital into the market and buy a large supply of whatever the um, asset that I'm targeting. So that is, you know, part of my strategy as well, too. So I got reoccurring orders that just always get, you know, at different price points. But I also have an emergency stash of money that once markets come down to levels that we have uh, identified on the chart, you're ready to go. Now, based off this head and shoulders pattern, we're looking at uh, potentially Bitcoin could come back down to the $20,000 range. Uh, that would be beautiful, but it also would be a big pain point for a lot of people because um, they may have bought uh, you know, a higher level and they don't want to see that much pain in their account. That's a lot of bleeding. Um, and then it's going to remind them of what happened in 2017 that they were going to be in a bear market after that. So, um, but don't be alarmed. Um, I'm not saying that we won't be in a bear market, but you have a lot of institutions in play. You have a lot of money on the table. The derivative market is very huge. So it's a lot of money that's being exchanged uh, through hands throughout this whole entire process. So this drop is going to make somebody billions. So if you know that, you play the game totally different. Okay. So that's why we also teach you how to uh, trade on the derivative market as well, too. All right, hit the like button, subscribe.